Dear friends, welcome back. The mission I'm going to do together with you would be Pi EXP in this video. The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download and play the machine. I think from the name, we can tell that maybe this machine has a lot to do with the Python, which is my favorite programming language. Before we go ahead, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You're greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch into the Canon Linux VM. Also, I'd like to open up my notebook. So first of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. The utility I'd like to use is NetDiscover. All right, as you can see over here, the IP address of the target could be recognized as 150. So what are we going to do next? We need to do the port and service scanning with a map to save time. I've already completed earlier. So for now, we just cut out its result. As you can see over here, I use the options like since again, the version scan, the default script scan, followed by the dash p dash to do the full range port scan. Last op option for all is on, the uppercase n, to output the result into this file. And uh, of course, I think you can notice here the IP address has been changed uh, from the, the first time I did the machine. So from the MF scanning, we can tell that the target has only two open port number. The first one is 1337 and running SSH service or secure shell service and the version information, including version number. I think, I don't think we can find any workable uh, vulnerabilities for this particular version. And the next one is 3306, which is running my circle surface. So what are we are going to do next? Because I just mentioned, for we cannot do anything in most cases with the, with the SSH surface at this moment, because we do not have like a user name, so then we can use Hydra to crack. So maybe the the target for us at this moment is MyCircle, and uh, we can use MyCircle client to to connect to, and try to see whether this service has weak credentials. For example, we can use root as password, but uh, this password, this weak password, didn't work. So next, uh, I think the only, the only thing left to do is to use Hydra or Medusa to do the brute forcing against this MySQL surface. And so how to do? Oh, sorry. I think I mistyped the, the long IP address of the target. So let's do it again. Access denied for user using password. Yes, so the password is not correct. So I think now it's time to fire up our Hydra to do the brute forcing. And we can use Hydra and use the L option to specify the user name. User name normally would be Newt user for the database, for the MySQL database. And Oh, and I think I've already made the video about uh, my circle, how to operate, how to run, how to admin a my circle database. I think in the future I will make more detailed uh, courses for the my circle, okay? Because this is very important technique. 
and、uh, I can use locking with the list to crack my circle and then specify the surface information. And、uh, to be honest, this will take a very long time to finish. And the major cause for this, for this is the server or the target. I mean, the MySQL service of the target、uh, is responding very slowly. So, or you know, the delay is very big. So this is the. I think this should be the major reason for this. Uh, for this,、uh, you know, phenomenon, and、um, I spent a bit of time to fix it out, but failed. If you can fix, you if you have some way to make this process to be quicker, and let me let me know in the comment. Thank you. Okay, so here I do not want to waste your time after running. Uh, you know, a bit long time, and then eventually we can get、uh, the password. And、uh, I assume that we have already been there, and we can use this credential to log in to the or connect to the MySQL database. Okay, so I'd like to interrupt it here. We can use MySQL client, and the password is pretty woman. Even the native、uh, MySQL client will take a bit long time to connect to the database. So I think this is the major cause、uh, I mentioned earlier. Okay, so we can use command show. We also can show use the capital show database, right? Database show. Data bases. So the four database bases on the target. I think the latter three databases are default uh, uh, databases of the MySQL. We do not need to care for much uh, those uh, databases. The only、uh, database which have actual data would be this one data. So the the name is a very simple one. We can use data, and we can use command show tables. There is only one table with this database, so we can dump data. Use the command select asterisk、uh, symbol and from table name for net. So we got the cred. I think this is the cred value and also the key.、Uh, I think for me, I I don't I didn't have the experience with this for net. You can use the、uh, Google to make some research for net. Python. As you can see, we can use this statement, the Python statement, to decrypt the the value. So how to do? We can maybe I can exit from the MySQL collection. Then we can launch our Python, and we can import for net module. I think we just copy and paste. And then we can, of course, the key. We have already got the key, and we can copy from this table. And then we can decrypt. I think we can use this method to decrypt. And we can use the result is. For net, 
decrypt and we can copy this token or encrypted value however we got the type error we should pass okay missing token Sorry, we should uh, initialize the instance. Okay. And then use the decrypt. And then let's do it again. Pass the token. As you can see, we got the, I think this should be the credential for the SSH. So we can paste in here. Now we can exit from Python environment. Then we can use the SSH and the Lucy. Of course, the pod number is not a default one. And we can accept and the password we can copy a bit complicated password. So, oh, sorry, I need to copy the entire string. Paste again, it does work. We can get the user flag. Next, we need to do the local immigration to elevate our privilege, right? The first thing, as always, Especially if we have the password for the current user, we can check sudo. As you can see, we Lucy can run the following commands on this machine without uh, supplying the password. So next, we can cut out this. We got the input and then execute. So I think this would be very easy. We can you know, we can elevate our privilege by uh, inputting the statement or the command. Of course, this command is not an Indian command. This should be, you know, the statement of the Python. Okay, let me show you. Uh, we can, maybe we can copy. And uh, we can... Uh, we can, for example, we can import PTY module, PTY spawn. Oh, sorry. This is my bad. Let's run it again. Oh, sudo. How are you? I'm fine. Why? Sudo? Sudo? Okay, so now we can import PTY module, PTY is bomb, and then bin bash. Let's enter. As you can see, we have already elevated our privilege to root user. Then we can get the root flag. Of course, also we can use the, you know, I, I'd like to show you another way uh, to elevate our privilege. We can, I think also we have already used, utilized this method, this technique very much. So reverse. We can... Copy. We can copy this command. Yeah, sorry about this. We can p 
paste in here and uh, we need to modify the IP address and the pod number and uh, I think we just uh, what we need to copy is this part we can copy and we can run this command opt and we can paste in here before we hit enter we can uh, set up the listener Okay, we can press enter. As you can see, we got the collection. And now we can cut out the lot of black. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You know, the I think the part I didn't like is it will take very long time to crack. And the major issue is, you know, I think this is the, uh, the misconfiguration of the the machine of the talking machine you know even we use the native um mysql client will take uh, we, you know the native mysql client command will take a long time to connect to the target connect to the database okay so anyway that's pretty much it i'd like to see you in the next one bye have a nice day please